that is just heaven. I don't think I'll do the back nine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just sit it out here. Thank you very much. So we're off to Nairn, which is just northeast of Inverness. It's about three hours north of here. There's that plateau of Scotland that just juts out a little bit, and Nairn is just northeast of Inverness. So the main thing we're going to see is the halfway house, and it's a wee bothy. So bothy is a very Scottish word for a shelter. Well, it's a perfect crisp Scottish day. You couldn't ask for a more Scottish day than this. Uh, it's blue skies, a little bit of cloud cover. We've had some snow overnight. The Nairn Golf Club. English people struggle to say Nairn. They say Nairn. Okay. It's Nairn. It's not an easy word to say, but it's a beautiful word. Hello. How are you doing? Very well, how are you? I'm very well, thanks. Lovely to meet you. Is it Sean? It is indeed. Going to keep me company on the course today? I certainly am, I certainly <laughs> am. Just hit it and get out of the way, that's a good... Summary of Scottish golf. Aye. Shot. Shot A. Perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, guys. Enjoy your golf today. We'll see you at the halfway house. <laughs> well, there's quite, quite a view here you've got, Sean. Walking off the first tee, I can imagine you kind of feel the weight of the world just fall off your shoulders. You certainly do, yeah. So just to the right of us, um, this is the Murray Firth. That water hazard's in play for, unfortunately, the first seven holes. So, <laughs> but at least the wind's coming off uh, from the north, so yeah. it shouldn't be too much of a problem today. The proof's in the pudding. Is that white chimney where we're heading? That's where the warmth is. I'm so ready for a bit of warmth. I cannot believe how cold this is. Ugh. The ice house in the Bothy is our furthest point at the golf course. Okay. So we get over there and then we turn back for the, the back nine. Uh oh. That's okay. Down the right hand side. Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, surely you can play from the beach. Oh, yes. Yes, as long as, as, long as the dog doesn't get my ball, we should be fine. That'll be absolutely grand. It's a good angle. It's, it's, good it's angle. a good angle. No, He's it's opened it's up the green. No, 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 don't show that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good miss. I love it. What would you say the relationship here at Nairn is with the halfway house? Well, depending on the time of year, shelter, for one, <laughs> getting a little bit of warmth from the front nine. So there is like a little fire in there, so you can warm up and get a coffee or maybe something a little bit stronger. And then a little snack and then it prepares you for the back nine. Love that. That is absolutely superb. Get in the hole. Potentially a gimme from there. Oh, I'll take that. Nicely done, Sean. Thank you. Yeah, very close, actually. Not too shabby, eh? Yeah, yeah it was headed for the hole. Couldn't do that on camera, really, could you? We've got one more hole till that warm bothy that I can see in the distance. I'm absolutely desperate to get inside. <laughs> Money. It certainly looks like a bothy. It's got that kind of single pitched roof. And you obviously have got that suggestion of a, of a warm fire in there with that wee chimney poking out the top. Um, but it's got that kind of old Scottish vibe to it. And it's just nestled into the gorse bushes, which I love as well. The way it's hiding there. And it looks like very much like a wee Highland crofter's house. Absolutely, and usually, I mean, maybe not today with the wind, but that's usually just inside that is the line off the tee. And I can see to the left, you've got this very intriguing building that's got this cedar roof with the natural turf. So the one on the right's the Bothy. It's called it, the Bothy. Yeah, and the one on the left is the ice house. Right. It's a good roll, very good roll. Get there. Oh! <laughs> again, short. I hear short, just again. A refuel at the boss, and you'll be ramming the metal. Yes, back I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. You know, it's been painted in white, which is very bright, reflecting off the sun. It really stands out and catches your eye. The whole of that front nine, it's very impressive. By the time you get a little bit closer, you can see the scale and proportion of it. It's got that kind of 
coziness to it, obviously dating back to 1877, where the scale of life in humans was obviously smaller. It's got that beautiful human scale to it, it kind of welcomes you in. It's not an intimidating building. It feels very people orientated. These lovely little windows with the original shutters as well. It's very, very quaint. Oh, yes. Nice bit of heat. Iona, <laughs> Come on Hello. in. Warmer in here, Iona. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Nice, yeah. to, nice to be no, here. No. You've got the prime spot. This is the perfect place to be on such a cool day. Oh, that is just heaven. I don't think I'll do the back nine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just sit it out here. Thank you very much. Well, we've got a dram for you as well, just oh. uh, if you would like. Now Warm you up even more. Yes, please. Oh, the, the smell in here, that kind of beautiful sort of smoky warmth. Yeah, it's got so much character to it, uh, the building. 1877 it was built, so it was here 10 years um, before the actual golf course was built. And its purpose was to store salmon that was caught out in the Firth and it would be brought up here. So we have the ice house beside us, it's all stored in there. And then from there it would be, if you wanted to eat it here, you could be, but then it's going off to market. And you've got the images around the, the wall, so you can see the ice house, uh, how it looked back in the day, and also the bothy itself. So you had a kind of thatched roof, yeah. and obviously we have slates on it now. The two of them together, the combination, slightly different design. Uh, you know, you've got the turfed roof uh, yeah. over there, which this obviously was at some point. But again, you can see it from the first tee, so again, it's a kind of a focal point, uh, and it gets everybody talking. What a great addition to the golf course. Fabulous, yeah, yeah. Even, you know, on lovely days, you can sit outside, but you get days like this, then just come in, uh, yeah. sit by the fire, have something to eat, and uh, even a little dram. Come on then, in you come. Don't be shy. Some coffee with a tiny drop of Glen Morangy. Oh, right, okay, you can definitely do that, yes. Okay, another coffee, and I'll just put a little shot in for the dock. Yeah, I've got a coffee with a nice shot of Glen Morangy in it. Keeps you lovely and warm in a cool winter's morning. Most of the visitors, especially the Americans, they just love it. They think it's just wonderful. And uh, the history of the place, all well, the salmon netting and everything, uh, it's really terrific. My memory of this as a kid was a net used to be out on the beach. You know, coming up the ninth hole, you just get this gorgeous vista of uh, four or five nets where they caught the salmon from. It's just a part of the character and the atmosphere. They'd have an array of fresh salmon on the floor and you just pick your salmon three pounds a pound and he would um, take it round to your house and it would be there when you got home at night. On a day like today when it's so cold, there's no welcome addition to our game of golf is have a cup of coffee. Scots people, we, we're quite familiar with the term bothy, but visitors must wonder when you first say that, well, what's a bothy? Well, they're, they're basically, it's a house. Uh, along this coastline, there was, uh, there was eight of them, but again, it was tied into the fishing. Mm. You know, fishing was a big part of uh, a big industry yeah. uh, back in the, the late 1800s. You know, the heating is the fire, yeah. uh, and uh, the light is either, you know, through the windows or the candles. Uh -huh. It's a marvellous little view you get, yes, even just yes, sitting here. Yes, across the ninth and onto the Firth itself. If you're a visitor, uh, you're coming from overseas, you will never have experienced anything like this. You know, we maybe are a little bit more aware of it from the UK and especially in Scotland. Yes. Uh, but if you're coming from, you know, New York and you come in here and it's just like, wow. Yeah. Uh, it, again, it's just the character and the charm that, uh, that it creates uh, yeah. for anybody visiting. This is what I was saying about the storm. We started in blue skies. It was cold, but it was blue skies, and now we've got a wee storm coming in here, a snow drift. There's a little three ball coming in now, these boys, they look absolutely freezing. This is exactly what a bothy's for when the snowstorm comes in. Come on in, boys. Hi. You coping in this weather? We are. Aye, yeah. It's been lovely up till now. It's been lovely, has it? Yeah, yeah. Slight change from yesterday, from last week, though. Yeah, it was a bit warmer last week, wasn't yeah. it? Well, this will warm you up now. Ah, lovely, thank you. You know, it's snowing outside, and that's how long they take in the halfway house, just in and out, get the hot drink, and off they go. That Scottish call through and through. No hanging around. Colin, would you agree in the main, Scottish golfers are quick to play and so probably don't spend too much time at the halfway house? Yes, 
uh, when you ask someone how did they play, they said I went round in two and a half hours. Uh -huh. <laughs> So that kind of tells you in itself that they do. They love it, to, do they love that, to go yeah. fast, and and, and that's great. Uh, everybody's different. Um, you know, some will come in. Um, it's like a grab and a go. Um, from a visitor point of view, uh, I mean, our policy is that we do want people to enjoy the experience. I don't want people to be rushed around a golf course. So if you come off the ninth in here, you just lose your position on the golf course. Mm -hmm. And if you want to stay here for you know hours upon hours and enjoy the. Uh, the hospitality, yeah, we're comfortable with that. Yeah. Um, as, as long as you, when you're going back on, you kind of fit back into the position of the golf course. So yeah. it's just a special place mm -hmm. and uh, we're, you know, we're blessed to have it and very lucky. Uh, yeah. We want people to enjoy it. That's wonderful. Let's get another log on and let's just Definitely. sit back yes. and relax. <laughs> It's nice when a halfway house has a name, I think, and it's very much a bothy. It's not like a modern cafe, which would be quite disappointing, I think. It welcomes you in like a big hug, and it says, you know, come in and sit down and take a minute. Imagine just the people that have been here in this bothy. You get to step foot inside a little bit of that history, and you really get a sense of it when you're in here. And I just think, you know, the fishermen and fisherwomen that, that would have spent time in here, not only preparing for the catch of the day, but coming in and enjoying and gathering. And I think the tables and the benches they've got in here are absolutely spot on because it would have been that sense of community and gathering around food. Golf does that. It gives you an, uh, an opportunity to gather and to eventually celebrate. And you can do that after your round of golf, but hey, why not do it halfway as well? You know, you can do it after nine, get together around this table in the Bothy, have a wee celebration. This building was here 10 years before the golf course was. Um, I think it's quite unique in that sense that it, it's not been a, a halfway house that's been built. I wonder, you know, when old Tom Morris was laying out the land, how, how much he thought about the Bothy and perhaps it was the first destination and you know you turn around from that point if the bothy hadn't been here where might that halfway point have been and i'm sure we'll see in the, throughout the series halfway houses that have been purpose built and it'll be interesting to learn how they've managed to kind of make that feel like an integral part of the golf club you could throw a fishing net across nairn golf club and you know you would include the bothy and that is the club and, you know, it's very well having the golf course. You bring in a brand new halfway house and perhaps it doesn't feel like it's supposed to be there. This feels like it's been here all along and the golf course is its friend that's come along after and it's given permission to the golf course to be here, not the other way around. <laughs>